this is another interesting edition of the Market Review, where we discuss key developments in the financial and capital market as it affects the economy. Today, we'll be discussing the focus on the November 2021 Capital Market Service Report published by ProShare earlier this month. This captures the activities of the capital market ecosystem in the previous months and key developments to watch. We begin with the capitalization of the key exchanges for November 2021 and from the breakdown, the Nigeria Exchange Limited Equity Market capitalization was 42.197 trillion naira, which showed that it improved by 1 trillion naira from previous month in terms of market cap. The FMDQ debt market size hit 26.4 trillion naira, with an increase of over 2 trillion from the previous month in terms of its debt market size. The NASD on listed securities market capitalization reached 615 billion naira, but had a drop by 2 billion from the previous month, which was around 617 billion naira. Looking at the key developments in the market ecosystem, the NGX hosted its maiden capital market conference, which discussed the theme, the future ready capital market, innovating for Nigeria's sustainable recovery. The exchange in that conference advocated for increased collaboration among key players in the nation's economy towards driving productive investments that will accelerate an elevated and digitized capital market. Here are my five takeaways from that conference. The first is that the equities market should continue with its technology drive to woo millennials to participate in the boards. The average investor base of 53 is not good for a demography dominated by young people. Second is that there's a need for more synergy between the executive, legislature, and the capital market players in the area of ensuring that state-owned enterprises are listed on the NGX to boost capitalization. So I'm looking at the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Incorporated as a big opportunity to set that pace, and I hope it works out. Third is that the Apex Regulator, the Security and Exchange Commission, has the onus of deepening its investor education, making it a market-wide approach. This is critical considering the alarming spate of Ponzi schemes in Nigeria. Number four, again, SEC also needs to be proactive in regulatory approach, supporting the NGX and other market players in its innovative drive to roll out products that deepen the market activities. A good example is the Special Purpose Acquisition Companies Initiative which the Security Exchange Commission has responded with a draft exposure following what the NGX is working on. And lastly, beyond the Sukuk issuance and green bonds in the markets, there's need for other innovative initiatives. We would like to see through the NGX and other market players, initiatives like education bonds, health bonds, railway bonds, etc., so that we can have a more expanded economy. The FMD Securities Limited from analysis has continued on a remarkable trajectory of improving its activities in the commercial papers market. This is notable and should be sustained considering the traditional crowding out of the private sector by government activities. For the NSD, compared to the last six months, there has been now a steady improvement to a 600 billion capitalization mark compared to its 500 billion in that period. This needs to deepen because it can look at this product, sustain its dissertation drive to attract more companies into the listed securities market. Now, here are some trends to watch in December 2021 for the markets. Of course, the recent launch of the NG Clearing Limited by the NGX is now a major pace setting development and should create healthy competition in the central counterparty space. We expect progress in the NMPC incorporation and prospects for leveraging the capital market for listing. We will continue to follow updates on the shareholding control of FBN Holdings, a listed company in the NGX. And of course, the impact of the Flower Mills acquisition of the majority stake in Honeywell. Last has not been ahead of it, continue to follow that story and development. And the SEC exposure draft on SPARKS, special purpose acquisition companies, and the NGX drive on it. Of course, SEC and its investor education approach covering the alarming rate of Ponzi schemes will be something to watch. And of course, the Nigerian Communications Commission 5G auction, which happened yesterday, and the role of key quoted companies in the exchange 
Airtel and MTN to be very important to see what happens in that regard. And of course, the FMDQ and its increased activities in the commercial papers market, we're watching to see how many more will come on board. And for those of you that are not aware, Sterling Bank has received license for an alternative bank. So we want to see how that uh, plays out. And of course, the FGN December 2021 savings bond and subscription level expected this week. How would the subscription be? And here are my last three notes. At the just concluded 2021 Capital Market Correspondence Show Nigeria Annual Conference, which focused on the theme Technology as a Tool for Financial Inclusion in Nigeria. The key takeaway was the need to leverage technology to close the investment gap in Nigeria. This means increased digitization can lead to times three for a start of the investor base in Nigeria, which is currently 4 million. So imagine that happening in the year 2022 that we have 12 million retail investor base. It's possible if everybody puts their hand to it. Second, the states should be encouraged to leverage the debt capital market. And this comes with a review of the regulations for subnational bonds. There's been a lull in activities and the market should be assessed for long-term financing with seven to 10 year tenure bond. And lastly, the Security and Exchange Commission and its role needs a constitutional review. SEC should not operate as an agency that reports to the Ministry of Finance. Like in the USA, it should be very effective and report, from my view, to the presidency. Have sweeping powers that will broaden the scope and governance of the capital and financial markets. And that will be all for this edition of the Market Review Show. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions on the November 2021 Capital Market Service Report published by ProShare, Please send them to otobasi.com at proshenji.com. We'll be glad to respond to you. Also, join our website www.proshenji.com to read our latest articles, stories, and reports on the capital markets. You can engage with us via our social media platforms displayed on the screen. Don't forget that you need to be informed to make the right investment decisions. Thank you for watching and keep discussing the financial capital markets because they create wealth and economic opportunities.